happy birthday. Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're gonna love forever. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. Don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this Taffy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. Too sticky? Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that... King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty. But I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad. There, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taff. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Forget it. I don't need you. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh. What is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> It's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over, or else... You think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up. <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is. Seize him. Arrest him now. Get off of me. He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke. Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did. Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm gonna love you just the same. Poor thing. It's time to see how little he has. 
What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh, take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? No, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh, yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise, but you do owe me quite a bit of cash, so what do you say? You take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff, but I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10k. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? Make a wish. Hey, happy birthday. What's your soulmate's name so daddy can take care of him? Dad... I'm kidding, come on. His name hasn't even shown up yet. Okay, but when it shows up, you tell me who it is. Understand? No, please, I'm telling you, I, I don't know nothing. Oh. Maria, put your headphones on. Hey, Maria. Yeah? I finally did it, sweetheart. I got his location. And by his, do you mean the man that killed... Your mother. Yeah. Turns out he's got a secret son. You're kidding. Nah, he's a CEO of a company. Let me guess, you want me to use him to get to his father? Yep, I already got a plan. What's his name? Antonio. Antonio Stefano. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Just thought I saw a bug. Tell me what you need me to do. And pretend you got a big business deal for him. Okay, but what if he's not interested? Then you make him interested. For mom, I'll do whatever it takes. He's ready for you. Mr. Stefano, Miss Lane is here. Nice to meet you, Mr. Stefano. Please, call me Antonio. Take a seat. I hear you have a business proposal for me. Actually, I do. May I show it to you? Go right ahead. And that's how this deal will make us millions. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not looking to make any deals right now. Then why did you have me explain it? I like the sound of your voice. Now, why don't you do me a favor, doll? And tell me why you're really here. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Miss Lane, if that's even your real last name. What are you implying? Let's just say I have a lot of enemies. And you think that one of them sent me to what? Kill you? Maybe. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure. Your little business deal was bullshit. What makes you say that? Some of the math was off. By a lot. Look, I don't know who you think I... Mr. Stefano, your father's on the phone. <sighs> Stay here. We are not done. Excuse me. Dad, did you get all that? Yeah, that son of a gun smarter than I thought. Yeah, maybe double check your math next time. Look, you gotta get out of there. I can't. He... He's coming back. Now where were we? You were just about to let me go home. Not gonna happen, Miss Lane. Not until you tell me what's really going on here. Fine. First off, don't call me Miss Lane anymore. My name's Maria. And secondly... This conversation hasn't been private. Maria, what the hell are you doing? But now it is. Who was listening in? If you want to know that, I suggest you sit down and listen very carefully. So we're soulmates. And your father doesn't want us to be together? Yes, but I'm done listening to him. I... I want to be with you. 
your friends are. Maria, what the hell was that about, huh? Relax, he's got a thing for me, and I put a tracker on him. I gotta say I'm impressed. We're finally gonna get justice for your mother. I see his car. He's here. Copy that. Hey, you came. Of course. <laughs> I'm ready to run away with you. Me too. I say we leave and never come back here again. Cheers. To new beginnings. So, whose car are we gonna take? <laughs> Let's, Let's take, take mine. mine. No thanks. Actually, I wasn't really asking, sweetheart. Neither was I, sweetheart. Let me guess, you found the tracker. Did you think I wouldn't? Obviously I did, which is why I came prepared. Wanna know why I chose this restaurant for us to meet at? Why? Because my father knows all the waiters, including one that served you your drink. You little... Bring the van. He's not going anywhere. Let me handle this. No, Dad, I want to stay. Maria, he's gonna wake up any minute and... Why do you keep looking at him like that? You didn't tell me your soulmate's name. Um, I... Sounds like someone's about to get grounded. Your father doesn't know, does he? Doesn't know what? Your daughter and I are soulmates. Are you kidding me? Dad, I can explain. Nah, Maria. He's dead. No, he's not responsible for what happened to Mom. His father is. What are you two talking about? Your dad killed my mom. That's why I came after you. My father wouldn't go that far. Guess you don't know him too well. He's right. Dominic? Dad? How did you find him? I always keep an eye on my son. Now tell me, Antonio, which one of them should I take out first? Last time I checked, you were outnumbered. Oh, but am I? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You know what you have to do. You're next. Dad, what are you doing? I want them to stay away from me. I remember. Stop! She's my soulmate! What? Oh. Dad! Relax. I didn't shoot to kill. How's your father holding up? He's doing pretty good for someone who just got shot in the shoulder. How about yours? He's pissed, but he's alive. Maria, listen. I want you to know I had no idea about your mom, and I'm turning my father in. You are? Yes. Look. I'm sure your dad's no saint either, but what my father did, no little girl should have to witness that. Thank you, Antonio. That, that means a lot to me. And it means a lot to me that you didn't kill him when you had the chance. Where are you going? Leaving. I figure you don't want to be with me. Antonio, wait. I do want to be with you. Do you want to be with me? More than anything. Then what do you say we put our parents' past behind us and start fresh? I'd like that. Who are those guys? Uh, those are the mark checkers. What? Didn't you read the pamphlet? <gasps> there was a pamphlet? Max, Michaela Brown. That's me. No, 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 wait. I can't let this happen. If they find out that I have a blue mark, they're gonna force me into some sort of arranged marriage. And what if the guy's a jerk? I gotta get out of here. Crap, the freaking makeup's melting off. Hey, what are you doing? <sighs> Why are you out here? Hi, um, I was just going over there because they told me that I'm all clear to go. Who told you that? Um, that was Frank. Frank told me that. There's no one named Frank that works here. Damn, I knew I should have went with John. She's a blue. Get her. Hey, you really thought you could cover up your mark with makeup? Well, actually, it was my friend's idea, but... Quiet. That was a rhetorical question. Now, we're going to have to do something so you don't escape again. What is that thing? What is that thing? This is a microchip implant. Hmm? It's only gonna take a second. Oh no, I'm not good with needles, so... You'll be fine. Hold her arm down. No, please. There you go. See? All done. You just injected me with... Uh... Don't tell me she's gonna pass out. Oh, come on. It's time to get up. We need to get you ready for the prince. What? Yes, he's here, and you can't meet him looking like that. Says who? Says anyone with eyes. Now get up. Come on, let's go. All right, she's all done. Good. You know, for someone with a royal status, you guys sure do treat me like crap, says the girl wearing a diamond necklace. Besides, you're not royalty just yet. Yeah, so if I were you, I would lose the little attitude, okay? Because your mark doesn't become effective till the prince falls in love with you. And what if he doesn't? Hmm, I don't know if I should tell you. We're going to go get the prince, so you better stay put. <laughs>
What? <laughs> no, it's just, it's kind of funny. It's not like I can really get away because, you know, there's a tracker in my wrist. I bet this guy is so stuck up and so conceited. I mean, how dare they really pair me with some super hot guy. Hi, <laughs> I'm Justine. You're not quite what I was expecting. Oh, well, um, you aren't exactly what I was expecting either, but you know, in a good way. <laughs> yeah, same. You know, this whole system is pretty messed up. I know. Tell me about it, right? I mean, do they put a tracker in your wrist, too? Yep, they did. But I have a plan to escape these guys and get both of us our freedom. Hmm, you do. Well, okay. I'm listening. Guys, I have fallen in love with her. Now we're ready to get married. We just have a few minor requests about the wedding. Oh my gosh, of course, princess. Whatever you want. We thought you might say that. How did you get them to leave us alone? I told them I had a little surprise for you. But why would they need to leave us for... Oh, that kind of surprise. <laughs> it's time to take your track route, so hold still. Fine, but from a scale from 1 to 10, how bad is it going <laughs> to... Are you okay? We thought we heard screaming. Yeah, I'm fine. Things were just getting a little rough in here. Oh, <laughs> well, your wedding is ready. Okay. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wait. I... I have a confession to make. I'm, I'm pregnant, and he's not the father. What? I can't believe this. Well, it's too late. We're already married now, which makes me the princess, and what I say goes. And right now, I order all of you to leave us alone. We'll hurt her, guys. Everyone out. I order all of you to leave us alone. We'll hurt her, guys. Everyone out. I can't believe that worked. You did great. Now we just gotta blend in with the crowd. Okay, and then what do we do after that? Then we get the hell out of here, and then we enjoy our freedom. Come on, let's go. What are you waiting for? Uh, Justine, I'm really sorry about this. What? Hands in the air now. You're under arrest. You really shouldn't have lied to us. I don't understand. They found out my plan, Justine. It was either me going to prison or you. Mm-hmm. And guess who he chose? I'm sorry. Get on your knees. We need to check you for weapons. Where are we going? We're taking you to stay with the other reject princesses. Other princesses? Yeah, you're not the only one the princess screwed over. Now come on, let's go. Girls, look. Fresh meat. <laughs> Keep walking. Please don't leave me in here. It's not fair. Why does the prince get to go free? He was the one who planned this whole thing. We made a deal with the prince. What can I say? Life isn't fair. Hello, let me tell you the truth about the prince. So you're telling me the prince has been doing this for years? Yes, they let him trick innocent girls like us, just for fun. But why would they do that? Because they want to stay in power. The whole blue mark is a lie. But why? Because they do not care about us. They are wicked. Why don't we give the new girl a haircut? No, please wait. What if I told you I could make you get revenge on the prince? We've already tried that. There's no way out of here. Well, how did you get those scissors? I found them on the floor when they took me out to use the restroom. They let you out to use the bathroom? Yeah, but they have a guard come with you. I barely snuck these in. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. You sure they don't know you have those scissors? Yeah, otherwise they'd try and take them away. Well then, which one of you guys is the most violent? Definitely Greta. I have lots of pent up anger for the prince. Greta, I think it's time you release that anger. I have to use the bathroom. Oh, I need to go too. No, one person at a time. Oh, but please, I really need to go. Get back. I said what? That was for locking me in this hellhole. Oh, shit. We gotta get out of here now. You know each of them. We made it. We're free. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Well, speak of the devil. Gorda, do you still have those scissors? I have them right here. Good. You know what to do with them. What are you talking about? I would start running if I were you. W wait, wait a minute. Ladies, let's get them. I got my mark. Let me see. Okay, one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? It's blue. Blue? But what is blue? You have to cover that up. <laughs> But what is it? Cover it up. Okay, okay, geesh. Do you think this is good enough? I can still kind of see it. No, nah, you're good. No one's going to notice. Okay. Oh my gosh, did you hear? Some people are getting blue marks. Blue? <laughs> Oof, so weird. Um, excuse me? Blue is royalty. Say what now? You didn't know that? Well, I kind of feel sorry for the blue mark people. Wait, why? Well, apparently the guy and the girl have some sort of arranged marriage. <laughs> that is not fair. 
Oop, it's time for the mark check. Better hope yours appears soon, because here they come. Uh, who's they? Happy birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. What'd you get me? Here. Yeah. Skittles? They give you special abilities. Yeah, whatever. Magical powers. Well, I guess I could try one. I don't feel any difference. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. Wait, honey, I have some bad news. Your grandma passed away. Oh. Well, that sucks. Wait, you're not sad? No. Why should I be? Bye, Mom. Oh, no, that's horrible. What's horrible? Jessica got hit by a car. Oh, my gosh, for real? Well, I'm sorry for her. What's wrong with you? Hey, baby. We have to break up. I hooked up with Emily. Oh. Well, that's okay. What do you mean, that's okay? Was it good? Was what good? The hookup. Was it good? I knew you never loved me. Let me try another one. Ooh, purple. My favorite. I wonder what this is going to do. Good morning, Mom. Hey, honey. I wonder if she knows that she's adopted. Wait, I'm adopted? Yes, I'm sorry, honey. How did you find out? No, it's okay. I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. I had so much fun hooking up with her boyfriend last night. Wait, you hooked up with Lucas? How do you know that? It's fine. I've always been taught to give my all toys to the less fortunate. Well done, Giselle. You got an A-plus on your test. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bates. She can definitely get an A-plus on me. Can I transfer out of this class? Ugh, Giselle, come on, just go on a date with me. Tyler, you ask me every day, and every day I tell you no. Fine, I'll just watch you by a window again tonight. I have to remind myself to close my blinds. I'll try another color. Orange? Let's go see what this one does. Hey, Mom. I never loved you. I regret having you, and your sister is my favorite child. I don't know why I said that. It's okay. I'm leaving for school. Well, that was freaky. Hey, Jess. I'm only friends with you because you have a hot dad. Quite Wait, so. you're only you're friends with me you because I have a hot more. dad? Yes, I don't like you. You're a shitty person. Good to know. Hey, psst, Giselle. What's up? Doesn't Mr. Fitz look so hot? I want to marry him and have his babies. Did you just admit to being in love with our math teacher? I don't know how much more of this I can take. Hey, babe, I've been meaning to tell you. I'm in love with your mother, we're getting married, and I'm going to be your stepfather. I'm going crazy. What's the next color? Green? So good. Let's go find out what this one does. Hey, Mom. I still can't believe you failed your math test. I wish you would just forget about that. Forget about what? My math mog? What math mog? Never mind. I'm going to school. No way. Does this power make my wishes come true? Hey, Giselle. Hey, I wish you would give me your hat. Oh my gosh, yes, take it. Thanks. Giselle, you failed your math test again. Sir, I wish you would just give me an A+. Actually, you got an A+. Hey, Jackson. Hey, Giselle. I wish you would go on a date with me tonight. Well, keep wishing, because it's not going to happen. Wait, what? Do you think I'm dumb? Which color should we try next? Let's do yellow. Pause and play. I wonder what that does. Hey, Mom. Giselle, why didn't you do the dishes last night like I told... I guess I could do the dishes quickly. I told you to. What do you mean, Mom? I did them last night. Go check. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have been confused. I'm going to school. Okay, class, get ready for a pop quiz. Pop quiz. Well, I definitely don't feel like doing that. Wait, where'd Giselle go? That's one way to get out of it. Ugh, this class is so boring. Why isn't it pausing? Could you stop that? I'm trying to listen to the material. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? 
They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. You're the lost princess. What? Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> and this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma'am. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. Morning, beautiful. What was that? Mom? Mom? Yes, sweetie? Are you hearing voices too? Oh, honey, that's just your soulmate. My soulmate? Yeah, you guys can talk to each other. Sweet. Hello? Hey. This is so weird. What's your name? I'm not going to tell you that. I barely know you. Can I at least know how old you are? Yeah, I'm 19. Cool, I'm 20. Damn, 20? So no sugar daddy? How tall are you? I'm 4'11". Wait, so you're a dwarf? That's rude. Can I tell you something? Well, you won't shut up anyway, so what is it? What if I told you I know exactly where you are? I would say that is extremely creepy. Welcome to the front door. Can I tell you something? Well, you won't shut up anyway, so what is it? What if I told you I know exactly where you I are? I would say that that is extremely creepy. Well, come to the front door. What? Yes? Are you Giselle? Yeah, that's me. This is for you. Flowers? Who sent these? Who do you think sent them? Thank you. 
Did you really just send me flowers? Yes. Am I not sweet? Well, I mean, it would have been sweet, but I never told you that. Oh. Just say thank you. They stink, by the way. Hello? Why aren't you talking to me? I don't want to talk to you, because you're being very creepy. How am I being creepy? Well, for starters, how did you know where I live? Maybe I know you already. Wait, what? Simon says stop putting lipstick on. Simon says... What? Hey, Mom. What's up, hun? Who is Simon, and why is he telling me what to do? Oh, no, it started. Quite so. It's a game. You have to do whatever Simon says. If you don't, something terrible will happen. But be careful. It'll try to trick you. Yeah, I understand. Simon says go to school. I guess I gotta go to school now. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Giselle. So what happens when you don't do what Simon says? Simon says hold up two fingers. We're safe. I'll see you later. Hey, where's Jessica? She's not in class today. The game tricked her. She's gone. Put up your hand. Giselle, no, it's a trick. Come with us. Put up your hand. Giselle, no, it's a trick. Come with us. What do I do? I'll distract them. Run. Whoa, why are you running? I'm trying to get away. The Simon Says game tricked me. And now they're looking for me. I know a place you can hide. Follow me. Thank you. Okay, we're here. Thank you for bringing her to us. You set me up. How could you? It was for a reward. I really needed the money. You sold me out for money? That's enough. You're coming with us. We're almost there. I'm sorry, but where are you taking me? It's best not to ask any questions. Just keep quiet and follow us. Okay, we're here. Can you at least tell me where we are? We brought you to meet Simon. He requested to see you. This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh no, are you all out of talking time? Where's is always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And yeah, till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry. I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know where you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Please. Do you need this? 
Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep. She told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you up to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Oh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now, why don't you just fetch? No! Oh, thank goodness it's not broken. No. She locked me in here? Oh, no. It looks like they're already reading their vow. I have to take this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No. Anne, what? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well, that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? Then what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... <laughs> Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm. I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. You always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. 
Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. You're the lost princess. What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I'm not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill him. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. Time to go. You can reverse your palace. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> And this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl. Any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on. Let's get to class. Oh, look. It's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look. The mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean... I can finally speak. Morning, honey. Good morning, Mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm going to get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. Did you see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. 
Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please, I can explain. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. It's okay, at least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. <sighs> another day, another charge. <clears throat> what? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat> it's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> it didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? <clears throat> What happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No questions, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! <laughs> Uh oh, you got a mark. Five mistakes and you're out. Out? Like. Yes, exactly. Two plus two. Brianna, what's the answer? Um. I can't answer it. I don't want to make a mistake. I know the answer. It's three. <laughs> that was Timmy's fifth mistake. Five mistakes and you're out. Brianna, hold this. What is wrong with you? Why did you give that to me to hold when I wasn't ready? Chill out, it's no big deal. No, I can't chill out. I have two marks now. Three more and I'm out. Giving her that to hold was a mistake. What? How is that a mistake? Was it a mistake? Brianna, if you agree, I'll take away one of your marks. Was it a mistake? Brianna, if you agree, I'll take away one of your marks. Uh -huh. No, that's my last mistake. You still have three left. It was her mistake. Not mine. Hey, guys. You can't sit with us. Why not? The reason Sophie's dead. You let her die so you didn't get another mark. Why should I get a mark? I wasn't the one who made a mistake. Five marks and you're out. You're so selfish. Your shoelaces are untied. Hmm? Why would you do that? Sir, she made a mistake. She forgot to tie her shoelaces and then she tripped. What? No, you tripped me. You're now the school's target. That's what you get for killing Sophie. You're going to be next. Please don't be my bank account. I really don't need him to see how broke I am. 
My hand? Wait, which one? Oh, okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. I don't know what to wear. Okay, very funny genius, but I have class today, so no. Oh, actually, this could work. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was pretty cute, so I guess I won't be mad at him, but he owes me a new lipstick. Does anyone know the answer to letter A? No, I don't. Yes? Um, 22? Correct. Good job. Hey, beautiful. What do you say you come with me? Don't be scared. Come on. <laughs> I just knocked somebody out. Or, I guess you did. Okay, yeah, I should probably go. Morning. I just want to say thank you for protecting me like that yesterday. So, I guess you can hear and see everything that I do? Well, guess I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> hey, would you stop that? Hey, Mia. Hi. I, uh, I like your dress. Oh, thanks. Can I have your snap? Yeah, sure, it's... Are you... are you good? Yeah, sorry about that. Why don't I just add you? Okay, my username is... What the... Actually, never mind. That was so embarrassing. Moo! Ow! Oh, I barely even pushed... <gasps> I am so sorry. Do you know how much this outfit was? No. Of course you don't, you idiot. Did you just- No, I- Zip it! You are gonna pay for my dry cleaning! Why are you so aggressive? I'm just trying to look out for you. Well, please tone it down, because you're gonna get me in trouble. On my way! We're gonna party hard tonight! I am so excited. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come on, girl, let's go! Um... <laughs> Let go of the door. I can't. Oh, I see what you're doing. No, I'm being serious. My soulmate, he- Save it. You should have told me you didn't want to come. No, Sarah, wait. Thanks for wasting my gas. You know, I thought I asked you to tone it down. I don't need you to be acting like a- a parent to me. This is getting really annoying. When do I get to control him? Want to switch and control your soulmate? Yes. You will control your soulmate's hand with your mind. You will now be able to see and hear everything your soulmate does. Some things will be censored for privacy reasons. Oh, that's a relief. Are you ready to switch now? Yes. She's in control of me now? Great! Just don't do anything dirty. <gasps> ah! Jeez, I was just kidding! Oh, this is so fun. Ready for the concert? I sure am. Who is she? Oh, no, he doesn't. Whoa! You good? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Chill, this is my sister. Whoops. Damn, and I thought I was overprotective. Sorry, I guess we both kind of are. Are you still working for that billionaire? Yes, Mom. I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake? Oh. Hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny. I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry, I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news! Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor! He has amnesia! Do you know what this means? Not really. You can manipulate him. You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind. I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. 
You don't have enough money, and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes. I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh, no. Well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see. Follow me. You. I feel like I know you. Oh, babe, your poor head. It's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow! <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. Where is my home? I will show you, and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy. But he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. Uh, yeah, you know what? Would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any... Daddy! Uh, hi, kid. <laughs> my name's Kitty Silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy. I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card. You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Good morning, how did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you, it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. Now go get ready for work, and I'm gonna go make breakfast, okay? Honey, I'm home. Daddy, are those toys? They sure are. I got your favorite animal. A tiger. Mommy, he, he remembered. And for your sister, a bunny. And for your mother, flowers. Babe, these are my favorite. How, how did you know? A memory came to me of you picking some for me. Mr. Blake, I picked these for you. They're my favorites. Everything's still pretty fuzzy. Peekaboo! <laughs> she has your smile. I have a question. Yes? If we had two kids together and we're in love, then why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. <laughs> well, I think now I want to. He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he- Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I- You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry, I should have never- Mommy, where's daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but... But it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> daddy! Jason? I knew you'd come back. Where's daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but... But it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Jenny, these past few weeks with you and your kids made me understand there's more to life than just money. It turns out the person who brought me the most joy was right in front of me all along. I just didn't realize it. When I said I wanted to marry you, I meant it. I bought this for you last night. He wants to marry you, Mommy. Now we can be a real fa- Here, this is your future pill. Future pill? Yeah, it tells you what your future career will be. Gold digger? But that's not even a career. I need a new pill. Can't. Everyone only gets one. Hey, did you take your future career pill? <laughs> no way, you got gold digger? Shh. We don't need to draw attention to it. Everyone look, Brianna's future career is a gold digger. <laughs> Stay away from her, boys. All right, everyone, you can partner up for these math worksheets. Hey, Derek, can you help me? I don't understand. 
anything. No, don't talk to me. You just want to take my money. What money? Did you take your future pill yet? No, I haven't taken it yet. I have it right here. I'll take it when we get back from the assembly. Good idea. Let's go. No way, so cool. I'm going to be a mafia boss. Well, if I'm going to be a mafia boss, I'd better start dressing the part. Someone stole my future pill. Now I'm going to have no future. Hey, look at the... Ah! Since when are you going to be a mafia boss? I'm scared. Now that I'm gonna be a mafia boss, no one will mess with me. Sorry. Hey, watch where you're going. Please don't hurt me. Bree, how is it possible that your future career will change? You only get one pill. Don't know. And I don't care. Can't believe it. Someone stole my future pill and now I don't get a future. I'm gonna be jobless. I know who stole your future career pill. It was Brianna. Her future career all of a sudden just changed. I got you the new dolly you wanted. Thank you, I love- Stop. You can't ever say I love Y-O-U. If you say it to someone who's not your soulmate, you'll lose all memory of the person you said it to. Hey, baby, I got you lunch. Aw, oh, thank you, babe. You're amazing. I think it's time for us to say the L word. But Evan, what if you're not my soulmate? I don't want to forget you. It's okay. You don't need to forget me. I'll just say it then. I love you. Evan? Um, who are you? How do you know my name? I'm your girlfriend. I don't even know you. You're not my girlfriend, you bitch. Hey, Emily. Evan told me he loved me today. Brianna, that's great. He forgot me. Oh, no. I need to make him fall for me again. Even if we're not soulmates, I don't want to lose him. Yeah. Emily? Evan? Emily, how could you kiss Evan? I love him. And I? Brianna, don't say it. Love you. Emily, how could you kiss Evan? I love him. And I? Brianna, don't say it. Love you. No, Brianna. Brianna. Hmm? How do you know my name? Uh, I'm not sure, but my name's Emily. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Brianna, I really like your sweater. It's so cute. Thank you. It's new. I just bought it. My ex just came in. He told me he loved me today and then forgot me. Whatever. Don't worry about him. You deserve so much better. Thanks, but how would you know? You don't even know me. I don't have to know you. It's obvious. Did you see? Evan was looking at you the whole class. Whatever. He lost his chance. Hey, Emily? Yeah? I never forgot you. What? Everybody always told me to pick 80 years, but I want to know what happens. Morning, Mom. Honey, why did you pick 10 hours? I don't want to lose you. You don't know for sure that's going to happen. I want to know. I'm going to school. Bye, Mom. Hi, Mr. Fitz. Giselle, you only have nine hours left. I just want to say it was a pleasure having you in my class. You were a great student. Uh, thank you. Oh, well, looks like somebody is dying tonight. How about you mind your own business for once, Jessica? At least I don't have to worry about bullying you anymore. Hey, um, do you know anything about the timer? You only have six hours left. You should have picked the 80 like everybody told you to. What if I'm really gonna die? What if I'm really gonna die? Okay, here it goes. Three, two, one. Wait, I'm not dead? Hey, Mom, look, I didn't die. Yes, honey, but there's a three on your face. What do you mean there's a three on my face? Here, look. I wonder what that means. Whatever. I'm going to school. Good morning, Mr. Fitz. Oh my gosh, Giselle, you're not dead. And there's yeah, a... I know. There's a three on my face. I don't know what it means either. Okay then, just take a seat. Okay. Well, well, well. Look who's alive after all. Jessica, don't start. I actually want to apologize for booing you. Here, please take this. Thank you. I don't feel so... Hey mom, my nose is bleeding. Could you please pass me a tissue? Here you go, honey. Thank you. 
More my blood. It's blue. It's blue? Get out of my house. But more my... No but. You're one of them. Hey girl, my mom just kicked me out. Can I please come crash at your place? Yeah, sure. Come right over. Thanks. Thanks so much for letting me stay here. What's wrong with your nose? Oh, it's just the nose blue. Let me see. You freak. Leave immediately. You better stay away from me. What's happening? I have to get to the bottom of this. Hey, doctor. What seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? You have to come with me. You're a... Hey, doctor. And what seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? We have to go. You're a... I'm a what? It's not safe here. I'll tell you somewhere else. Come with me. Where are we going? And why is it getting worse? Because you're transforming. Transforming into what? Look, it's a blue blood. What do we do? Run as fast as you can. Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Yes. How's that even possible? I'll explain later. Come with me. First things first, cover up all the blue with this. Why do I have to cover it up? Because if you don't, people will come looking for you. What happens if they find us? They'll kill us. Now go do as I say. I covered it up. Good. Now go out and pretend as if you know nothing. Excuse me, miss. We're looking for the blue bloods. Have you seen one? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. Your nose. Stay right where you are. Don't try to run.